I didn't think that there was anything I could do. Like, I didn't have any power to control it. And it's just like very annoying and frustrating. And we talked about prejudice being an attitude, opinion, or feeling, which if goes unchecked, leads to discrimination. Words to Action is a program that works with Jewish day schools, Hebrew schools, synagogues, youth groups, summer camps, uh, college campuses through Hillel, Chabad on campus, to give the students the skills to be able to respond and the knowledge to be able to respond, to stand up for themselves and to be empowered to take action in the face of anti-Semitism. We want our students to know what to do when they experience those feelings, know where to turn. I think it raises an awareness that the kids don't get at home. For them to raise their hand, participate in little uh, vignettes and little skits is just great and there's, there's hope. Parents have already commented on how important it is that started a conversation between parents and kids that they weren't already having. And so it begs the question, but what do I do? How do I address it? We look to help students learn strategies, but not only learn them, also practice them. It's important that we take the steps at the very early stages. It is incumbent upon us as a Jewish community that understands where things can lead. Often, if discrimination goes unchecked, it then leads to the bias-motivated violence that sometimes we see in our society. A lot of the responses that she told us helped a lot because that I've tried on a couple of people and it worked. And I, I've learned like better ways to handle it. It makes me realize that I can also talk to teachers and my parents. I would definitely do this again. I think it's an amazing experience for kids and adults. It's something that we can learn from each other. I think it's just very inspirational. It's about recognizing anti-Semitism, recognizing hate, and being able to respond. Anti-Semitism and hate affects all of us and needs to be addressed. It's unfortunate that it is as important as it is, but we're grateful that the ADL exists and has been doing such great work for such a long time.